Jesus Christ, that's way too many cases. Stop. Oh no, stop. Oh god, yeah, new farthing, yes. Uh, oh my god, that, that was way too much. Uh, 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 hold on a second, guys. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I just saved and I saw the... The picaress I have. It hurts. Right in my soul. It really hurts. Oh well, let's see what we have, what other cases we have. So yeah, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, all these guys are the dragons. You know, these dragons that we didn't technically get to talk to on case 3, but we kinda saw them. The white residence, home of one of the dragons, is plagued by supernatural scares. Cat investigates. Sure, let's do the... Yeah, yeah all that have six clues, I don't get it, but okay, let's go in order then. Let's go with case 5, Ghost Busted. Okay, okay, yeah, I can oh, 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 you decided to join me, of course you decided to join me now. But yeah, I can end up changing, uh, uh, buying some costumes for Cat, and this one here, I love it, because it's Professor Layton inspired, obviously. And the best part is like, the costume thing, it says, next home, it says, Daddy, Daddy's girl. <laughs> I know it's adorable. Nix, whatever you're doing, don't. Yeah, lay like that. Thank you. Ah, my bad. Well, that's very odd. We're in the right area, aren't we? This is where Miss White said she lived, isn't it? Yes, according to the map, her house should be around here somewhere. Why don't you see a ma mansion fitting in the description nearby? Lisa White is one of the seven dragons, isn't she? That's right. So she's sure to have a very luxurious home. Now, where could it be? Remind me again when she asked us here in the middle of the night? She simply told us that she had a mystery she needs help on unravel. She specifically asked us to come at night, but she won't elaborate, elaborate any further. Which I can somewhat get why she probably would, mostly for the mentality that either A, the detective would be way too scared to come, or B, which is the thing that's the most likely one, that they would dismiss it as a prank or as something, you know, not to be taken seriously because, again, the texts are supposed to use logic to solve mysteries, for the most part. Perhaps she's very busy during the day, hmm? What is it, cat? That suspicious looking person over there, do you see her? Oh, great. Is that Emiliana Perfetti from Skeleton Yard? The perfect storm. So it is. Well, I wonder what she's doing out here at this time of the evening. Let's go and say hello. Be rude to ignore her. Ah. Also, obviously, but it, again, I also love the music here. I want to call it somber or macabre, but it has a Halloween vibe to it. I kind of really don't like it. Again, looking for for coins. Wait. Here. I heard a thingy go here. Aha! See, always checks the lights. Yeah. Wait, only two? Oh, that's rare. Aha! I knew it! And I think that's everything. Nix, don't! There. Sorry, I need to keep moving her because she wants to. Lay on top of the keyboard like every cat ever. What do you have to say? I've just been visiting a friend of mine, you know. You were busy talking, you didn't notice the time. It's got so late all of a sudden. We were talking about talking all the way. Oh, we were talking and talking all day. I thought you said we were talking about talking all day. That's how I I'm shattered now. I don't think I, I could say another word. Not one, not another, single word. Ha ha ha. Honestly, I don't believe you. Do you think she even knows she, knows she's doing it? <laughs> yeah, she was right. Good evening. Good evening, Emiliana. Uh, go! Go? Go where? 
Oh, it's you. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, well, I kind of like the stroke where the calculative and, how should I say it, realistic person is also scared of the ghost. Cause, but again, it makes sense because in their mind, the ghost thing doesn't make any sense, so they can't quite understand it. You, you shouldn't take up on people. Sudden shocks of the sibling is very bad for the skin, you know. Isn't it supposed to be very bad for the heart? Sorry, we weren't trying to surprise you. So what are you doing in this district, in this district at this time of night? Work, of course. I was asked to pay a visit to a rather prestigious lady's residence. You were? Well, that's why you're here. You're here on business, too. Yes, we are just on our way to Lisa White's home. You've heard of her, right? Her, I presume? She's one of the seven dragons. That's where I'm going too. This is very strange. She told me she was has a mystery she needs help to solve. That's right. Well, I wonder what the, what this mystery is. It's a mis it's mysterious already. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. Clearly, it's something very troubling. After all, she asked for the best analyst at Scotland Yard, and apparently a schoolgirl detective as well. Okay, yeah, that does like a pretty good question. How old is Cat? Because I'm assuming she's a young adult because she has her own business and she doesn't seem to go to school. And Ernest, which is a college student, which is probably in his 80, 80 Jesus, 80, Jesus Christ, you look well, Ernest, is in his mid to late, in his mid to late, in his late, late teens to early 20s, is crushing on her. But then again, I don't know how it's in Britain, so... Eh. I'm a real detective, Emiliana. Well, anyway, you might actually be able to be of, of some news. I can't find her residence, can you help? Ah, we're in the same boat, it seems. We're just looking, looking for it too. It should be just here according to the map. Well, in that case, we'll just have to ask a passerby. Her. Excuse me, I wonder if you could help us. Oh, what's the matter, dear? I'll gladly help if I can, of course. Could you tell us where to find Miss Lizzie's White's residence? No, I just realized, she's the one we, talk, we talked to to say that Mr. Flambe, the, the big one, the, the matriarch of the dragon, I literally forgot her name right now. No, Madame Dublé, Madame Dublé, yeah, now I remember. I knew something Dublé, yeah. But yeah, she was the one who said that she owned the cat, Oh, maybe she get a cat as well. Oh, this got not going to end up all for her. Well, the White House, you say? Is, is she having a stroke? Oh dear, you see him. Um, well, the White House is... Well, people tell awful tales about that place. Neeks, don't mess with the mic. Just, why don't you just lay down, Neeks, please? No, don't mess with the mic. No, just, just lay down. There. Careful not to fall, baby. What kind of tales? <clears throat> oh no, I really shouldn't be gossiping, should I? <laughs> you love gossiping, that's kind of your entire character. If you want to know the, the way, I'll, all you need to do is follow the street over there. When you reach the spot where the streets run out, street light run out, oh, Jesus. When the street lights run out, you've arrived. It's very dark, so mind you don't fall over. Thank you very much, we'll be careful. Oh, that's my pleasure. I must say, though, venturing to the White House, you are very brave. Aren't you concerned by what that old woman just said? Concerned? What do you mean? She said people tell awful tales about Miss White's house. Well, we don't know if the tales are true, do we? Unless we go and find out for ourselves, of course. Let's hurry up, Emiliana. Eh? Ah! Don't leave me behind! Wait! <laughs> oh. If you move over this mark and press C, the screen will switch to another map. You can move to different locations on other maps as long as there is an orange marker. It works in exactly the same way as usual. Select the marker by pressing A, then press A a second time to select move to actually go to the location. So let's move to another map. Jesus Christ, we're still adding new stuff, oh my god.
Yeah, let's go. Nix, please lay down already. Jesus Christ! This feels like an Adam's ho Adam's family home. This might be the place, I presume. Because here's the thing: this thing, rem this place reminds me of a castle. But then again, we're in Britain, so I would not be surprised if someone in the 1800s, I can't know when the Middle Ages technically ended, but old, or castle stopped being used. But I assume some later on probably build a mansion if they had the money, of course. So I can resemble the old castles. I can I can see people doing that with money, because you know, when you have a lot of money, you're not a weirdo, you're eccentric. Oh, sorry, he said, is this the right place? I presume. Are are you sure? I mean, you have made a mistake. It it looks well. Well and truly like a magnificent haunted house. I was gonna say mention, but okay. In the Miliana, eek! Okay, but that's not have to be very fun character in this chapter. Nyx, what are, Oh, she's playing with a cat. Sorry, Nyx, I can't let you play here. Catrail, you you don't have to actually say it. Are you perhaps cats of ghosts, Emil Emiliana? Well, yes. Yes, I am. Does that make me a bad person? Not at all. It's just interesting to see a different side of you, that's all. You're already so cool and collected. Fear is a vital survival instinct, you know. Someone like you who doesn't understand fear will last five minutes in the wild. Worst part is, she is technically right. White, of course. She is technically right about that. Well, luckily for me, Nyx, don't. Again, just, just a second, guys. Nyx, please. Please. Uh. Baby, stop. No. The struggle is real, fellas. There. Okay, well, luckily for me, I'm not planning trips to Outer Mongolia. <laughs> what are you too yappy about? Please, ladies, not, let's not fight. Shall I go in now? Now, wait. Shall I go in now? We found the place. Shall, shall I go in now that we found the place? Man, this is confusing. Oh, yes, of course, the mystery. Keep your mind on the job, cat. Miss White, hello. It's Katria Layton from the Layton Detective Agency. Huh, no answer. Perhaps she's gone out? Surely, it's simple that the house is so large. Ah, 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 Nix! Oh, stop, why? She's climbing my legs again. Luckily, my shorts are somewhere I can thick her material. Surely, it's simple that the house is so large and Nix is back. She can cheer you from wherever she is inside. Hello, Laura. How about knocking on the door? Yes, let's do that. But first, Picara... Not Picarats. Hit coins. Oh. Hello, Miss White? It's rather peculiar. There's no sign of anyone being in. It's starting to feel like a horror film. <laughs> Things are getting interesting now. Interesting? Nix, don't. You have a rap person... You have a warped personality, Catrial Layton. Let's see... The door appears to be unlocked. Shall we go in? No, that really be like a, like a horror film. The lost party of youth in the woods who stumbled across a terrifying haunted house, house in the middle of the night and foolishly venture inside. Yes, it's textbook. Okay, to correct one thing about that, they're in the middle of the, of the, of the woods and what I presume is that, yeah, he's in the middle of the night, it's not that they have to go foolish adventure inside, it's more that it's better to have some form of shelter inside than to, you know, actually stay outside where a predator could kill you at night. Plus, it's not as if most people like expect haunted things to actually happen. Because, again, I know in the films that the horror films and the like, bad stuff tends to happen, like horror, f horror stuff like monsters and all that, but I'm assuming that most people don't like expect that to happen. Like we in like in real like in our real world where we may find a decrepit mansion, 
or a house in the woods, and we go inside, we don't like expect it to actually be haunted, we just expect it to be old, falling apart, and abandoned. That's what we expect. What? I can never understand what... What I can never understand about films like that, that is why they go inside in the first place. It makes no sense. I just said why they do that. Well, you could wait out here if you're on your, on your own, if you like. Hi, Alora, let's go in. What a scaredy cat. Don't worry, there are lights on, on inside. Look. Should, again, should we be on the inside? Yes, well, I'm in police business after all. I must be professional. Yeah, I didn't like him to knock on the door, so... Let's see what everyone here has to say. Wait. Ah! Oh. Our old plane? That has to be a part of something. Oh, so she also owns a... Uh, yeah. Cat... Catriano... Emiliana also... Sorry, Emiliana also and the Chani and never know again. Usually the, the picker... Pick, I can't not pick her as the coins. They tend to be on... Stuff like lights. Like so. Or at edge pieces, like... I wanna say like so again, but apparently I'm not finding it. They also can be ridiculously picky to find. Yeah, I'm not finding anyone and I'm not gonna keep looking for hours on end. So just one more quick look around. Yeah, no, nothing. Let's go. Hello? Is anybody home? No, there's nobody here. We'll have to go. But there are lights on, and the place doesn't feel empty. So, is there... If there is nobody at home, perhaps... Perhaps this truly is a haunted mansion. Or... She's... I don't know. There are two possibilities that, that come to my mind. Because again, I've seen a lot of movies. That one. She is... Uh, there's like hidden chambers that you can go inside an engine. Because that's a trope you see a lot in movies and the like. I don't know if that's actually a real, a real thing. Or she's actually just walking to you guys right now and you guys are being, you know, overly silly. <coughs> Catriel, stop it. <laughs> I'm only pulling your leg. Careful, cat, or she'll run off screaming down the street like a little girl. I find it hard to believe that there is nobody at this at home. Miss White asked, asked both of us to come at this time. Wait. What? What is it? I thought I heard something. What did you hear? What was it? What, was it a g g g g Good evening and welcome. Really, his name is Wooster? Also, Jesus Christ, Wooster, go to sleep! You have you you look like a pen with those dark circles on your eyes, Jesus. Ah! Oh, unexpected visitors. It's a ghost. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not a ghost. Yes, a man who really needs to like eat that I'm looking at. Really needs to eat. And uh, sleep. Because Jesus Christ, man, I cannot be healthy. Again, I'm gonna talk to him later. I'm just looking to see if I can find anything. Aha! Wait, there was. I just saw one here somewhere. Wait, yeah, look, I. There's... Oh, here. Aha! Yeah, I think I found them all, so... Let's just stop there. It's most unforgivable of me not to have noticed your arrival. 
and greeted you in the proper fashion. I apologize. Welcome to the White Residence. I am the White Butler. Woo, sir. Woo, sir? Did you say butler or scary old man? I didn't catch it. Hello, Mr. Wooster. I'm Katria Layton, and this is... Oh, yes, um, Emiliana Perfetti, Scotland Yard. Hello. Miss White asked us to come because she, she has a mystery she wants help solving. Very good, ma'am. I'm sure Miss White would give, like to give you the details personally. Miss White is the head of the household, I believe. Indeed, ma'am. Mr. and Lady White regretfully passed away in an... Um, Unfortunate accident. Miss White was their only child. Why does she like the retelling of Batman? <laughs> I get a strong reaction, not fair to say. The young Miss White is dis disinclined to venture outside the residence. Residence. She's a she's of a solitary disposition. Really? What does she do to entertain herself all alone in this large house? Since infancy, Miss Weiss has been most adept at crafts and handiwork. She maintains a full schedule of such activities. I see, and... Could you tell us where we might find Miss White now, please? Yeah, I'm not gonna keep pronouncing names like that, it's just gonna be Wooster. Of course, ma'am. Kindly proceed directly up the staircase. Miss White is expecting you. 